to Hibernate tutorial. In our previous tutorial, we have uh, in previous two tutorial we have covered this Hibernate many to many relation, in which we have student can have multiple courses. So in the main main dot Java main class dot Java, we have these two courses. We have two courses and we have two different student student one and student two and we have passes these two courses to both so many student can have many courses so here so here what what we have done we have persisted both the both the objects now let's test this part and see the output Uh oh so here we are facing some problem yeah so in student dot java file what we have done we have created the notations on the getter so if we are using persistent api so we have to use the annotations on the fields so that's the changes okay now when we will test it again so So here you can see that it has created the created and inserted into the table it has created to student course then we have student underscore course so here let's see use tell comma this is the name of our database show tables first first of all we will see the tables so here you can see that we have codes student and student codes select star from codes so here you can see that we have two courses one is computer another is electronics so here select star from student we have two student one is telecom then we have test so select star from student underscore courses so here you can see that many to many mapping of the student so it has created the three tables one is student and then we have table one is student course table student table and student course table so in this way we will do many to many mapping so in many to many mapping what are the requirements we have to add both the beans to our xml file we have to do the configurations we have to add the dependencies then we have to use the appropriate uh, annotations to both the beans so in student beans we will create this many to many mapping and map with the third table student course and which will contain the student id and course id then in main class we will create many student and many courses and we will persist them so it will generate the records in the database so thank you for watching the video